Opening night of college basketball. Lipscomb gets a win over Swanee, 97 to 53. Jonathan Seaman, Justin Seaman, courtside. Joined now by the man of the hour, Hassan Asajua. Is that close? Yes, sir. Pretty yes, sir. close. Yes, sir. Well, you were a red shirt freshman. You had to set out last year after the injury. Yes, sir. After all that time, you had a big breakout game here tonight. Yeah, it's been a while. I was just excited to get out here and play. <laughs> How hard was it to have to set through last year and be there on the sideline, not get a chance to play? Uh, it was tough since I was playing for a long time. And sitting out, it really made me become a better teammate, like off the court and outside of actually playing basketball. And I really, I really think my teammates helped me out and supported me for the long time without playing. I was about to say, sometimes, you know, it's frustrating probably with the injury, but getting to sit out, you get to kind of view the game maybe a little different than you have. I mean, you're used to being out there playing. Now you get to listen to the coaches, you get to hear them coaching, and then you get to see it all happening. How did you think that helped you coming into this first game tonight? I think it helped me a lot. I really learned a lot from Rob. He was a great uh, role model. And he, off the off season, I really learned a lot from him, and he's just been teaching me a lot. And I've been learning, and it's, I guess it's showing. Right. Well, and with Rob being out here a little bit early, you get the first crack at things, and, and that's got to be fun as well to get out there and, and get a lot of playing time. Oh, uh, yeah, it's exciting. You know, one of the big stats tonight is your 11 of 12 from the field missed only one field goal. And and that's pretty important for a big man inside. You've got to have good hands. you got to be able to take the ball to the rim. And uh, could you tell in the second half that they were just feeding the ball to you? Oh, uh, yeah. We were realized that it was pretty easy inside scoring so we just decided we're going to feed them into that double all the way down and try to get open shots when they double and that's pretty much what the game plan. How much has Rob helped you as well with the, your passing skill level? Rob's such a great passer you know you want to get the points down there but the double team's going to come knowing when to shoot and when to pass. Uh, he helped me a lot I really learned a lot of passing from Rob. Well, congratulations tonight. Big win. Now we'll get set for TSU on Saturday. All right. Thank you. All right. Congratulations. Asan Asajua here tonight. 11 of 12 from the field. Four of five from the free throw line. He had nine rebounds and a total of 26 points in 21 minutes of play. For the Bisons here tonight, they end up shooting 36 of 67, 53.7% for the game. And the Bisons will out-rebound Swanee tonight, 41 to 27, as they win this game, 97 to 53. Coach, I've done a lot of interviews. That's about as much water I've seen. <laughs> He's a sweater. Yeah, he sure. is. <laughs> well, he gets a breakout game here, and what I really like, 11 of 12 from the field. Yeah, pretty efficient. Yeah. Um, hard to hard to argue with those numbers. I thought he played with a lot of poise down there, and. Um, took his time and delivered. Obviously, the matchup was in our favor as far as size is concerned, but um, but a really nice debut for him and and obviously credit to the guys who got him the ball in the right places and so forth. How did you feel about how your team played tonight, first game out? Mostly good. Um, you know, not, not a lot of big complaints at all. Uh, you know, they make you work, this, that Princeton offense, and, you know, you got to be in a stance and you got to be alert and you got to be ready. And so they exposed us a few times there. But overall, I was pleased. I thought from, you know, from 1 to 15, I thought our guys were ready to play and did a pretty good job. Got to be happy, too, the defensive effort, especially in this one, 20 steals, uh, defensively active hands pretty much all night. Very much so. Yeah, I thought we got, uh, you know, and most of it was off the ball. You know, I thought we had guys that were, Again, in a stance and in gaps and, you know, and ready to make plays when the time was there. And I, I told him at halftime, you know, you look at that number and you think it's because you're just flying around and being active and, and, uh, and making plays that way. But a lot of times that, that number becomes what it is because you're not making mistakes and you're forcing them to try to make plays. And um, that, was the, that was the reason why that number was so high to, tonight. And rebounding, I think it was dead even at halftime. You end up with a 41-27 advantage. That, that would be the one area where I was a little bit disappointed. I didn't think, uh, I didn't think our mentality to go rebound was good enough, especially on the offensive end. We, you know, we didn't, we didn't score the ball very well. We didn't finish very well. Um, and I, I felt like we should have um, we should have given ourselves a chance to get some easy baskets through offensive rebounds and didn't do that. Nice, Good. nice getting a guy like Nathan Moran back out on the court for his first time after a year, just having that senior leadership out there. Absolutely, you know there will never be a time where I'm disappointed he's out there. I don't think um, guys 
you know, knows what he's doing out there and uh, plays with a lot of energy. And, and as you said, he's a, he's a great leader. And uh, so it's, it's, I'm happy for him that he's back and look forward to him having a great year. And we got to see some new freshmen tonight. Yeah, those guys got pretty significant minutes, I felt like, and, and they played comfortably. You know, that can be that can be a tough thing, no matter how good you are, or how the game's going, you're playing in your first college game, it doesn't always go smoothly, and there may have been a hiccup or two, but o overall, I felt um, like those guys came to play and, and really, you know, did what we want them to do. Well, you coached against a former player you recruited tonight, you'll do the same thing on Saturday when you take on Tennessee State. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we're going into this one a little bit in the dark. You know, we, had, we don't have any film. We don't know what they're going to do. We, there's some personnel we haven't seen. And so, you know, we'll, we'll have to stick to principles and just play the way that we play and try to do that really well. And hopefully that'll be enough. Congratulations, Coach. Good to start the season off with a win. As Lipscomb wins it here over Swanee, 97 to 53. Tennessee State will come to Allen Arena Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. You can keep up with Lipscomb Sports at LipscombSports.com.